If your vehicle is not running right, sputtering or losing power, besides giving a tune up, another problem it could be is your Cadillac converter is stopped up. To replace this, some of them are welded, straight welded to your pipes, or it might have a flange with these bolts on it. You'd be awful lucky if you can screw them bolts off. Probably going to have to cut it off. On that flange, it'll be two bolts, one on each side. Won't take much to cut off. You can use your grinder with a cutting wheel. You'll see me use this grinder in many of my videos. Usually, your Cadillac converter have a flange on one side and a flange on the other side. So you have a flange on this side, flange on that side, and it just bolts right up. It bolts up to this front part coming from your motor, and then the flange also should bolt up on the back side going to your muffler. As always, nothing never seems to be easy. So see what they did here. Whoever had replaced this at one time, it only has one flange. The other one has been cut off. So instead of buying one where it just broke straight up, I might do a little bit of welding. I have taken the whole exhaust from up under the vehicle. I may be able to cut this off and grind it down that when I get my new Cadillac converter, it will bolt right up to this flange right here. If not, then I might do some welding. Here's the old Cadillac converter, and this is the new Cadillac converter that I bought online. The old one that was on the vehicle has an arrow on it. I was looking for an arrow on the new one. And I found out some Cadillac converters can flow from either direction. And therefore, it won't have an arrow on it. I'm thinking about maybe cutting this flange off and welding it to my new Cadillac converter so I can bolt the front end back up. And then I just weld the back end. The previous muffler shop had this end bolted up to the front and had the back end flange welded on this pipe. I'm thinking of doing a similar thing. What do I have to lose hiring myself to fix it? Before I cut it completely off, I'm going to mark the center of this flange. The center of that right there. Kind of mark the center of this, guessing a little bit. Kind of help me line it up. Flange is off now. I take and I'm gonna take my grinder and grind it a little bit and clean it up. Then I'm gonna see about welding onto the new one. Got it grind down, feel pretty smooth. Now I see about welding it back onto the new Cadillac converter. I'm gonna grind around the edge of this a little bit. Not much of a grind, just a little light grind and not them rough edges off. So I can put this flange back on here. What I have decided to do, I'm going to leave the flange on to this pipe and just cut it and just weld the new Cadillac converter back to this flange just like it was previously did. Before I cut it completely off, I'm going to mark my center line so I can line the new Cadillac converter with the flange.
The key to welding is having your heat set on the right setting. You need it just right. If you have your heat too low, then it's going to stick. If you have it too high, then you burn a hole in it. Take my chip hammer, my pick hammer. May not be the prettiest welder, but it's on now. It ain't coming off, I tell you that. Sometimes it takes a little playing around, getting something to prop up under here to line everything up. There you have it. New Cadillac converter. Weld into my exhaust system. Only thing left to do now is just to bolt it back in. As you can see, new Cadillac converter. Then weld into the exhaust system. Bolt it back in. Only thing is left to do, do a little tack welding on the supports. How it was previously tack welded. Then it'll be finished. I'm going to use the wire welder. There you have it. Another job completed. Hiring myself. Myself hired. It's the channel. Thank you for watching.